My name is Dave. I cosplay as Nightmare Whisker. I am one of the only screen accurate Freddy Krueger cosplayers in uh, New England. Today we're here in uh, Framingham at Scarecon. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with Heather Langenkamp, who, uh, as you know, played Nancy in uh, The Nightmare on Elm Street. Did a couple photo ops with fans here. Uh, it's pretty surreal that uh, you know I've only done this for about a year and a half, two years, and you know this is where I'm at. You know, I'm taking you know, professional photo ops with uh, you know these infamous cast members, really, and uh, you know I get to go home and, and share these experiences with uh, you know friends and family. You know I, I enjoy it. It's uh, really surreal. But my relationship with Nancy has changed a great deal for the last 35 years that I've known Nancy. You know, I first met Nancy on the page, and, and I really put myself into her. It, she was very similar to me in the way she was a teenager, and she was young, and she was really innocent, and, you know, but she became very strong, and um, I loved learning from Nancy on the page how to be a stronger person in my real life. And then when I learned about how people really loved Nancy, I kind of really thought about it long and hard. Like, what is it about her that people love so much? And it was that, you know, she really faced her fear and, and wasn't afraid to face all the hard things that were going on in her life. And now, 35 years later, I, I look to Nancy for inspiration myself many times a day sometimes. Follow the hard path to face your fear. It's the only way to go. Running away is never the solution. Here I am in uh, Framingham, Massachusetts with friends and friends like Amanda Wiss who I've known for 35 years and then friends like Lisa Wilcox who has become such a close friend because we do these conventions very frequently together and we're just like really important people to each other and then I look out and I see folks who come to this place to be with friends and relatives who've grown up loving horror and uh, I just think these places unless you've been you don't really understand how much friendship and and love and like I don't know everyone's a huge fan right <laughs> right Freddie I'm the only person in the world who like loves him like a brother I just like oh Freddie I love you <laughs> I, I'm not scared of this guy unfortunately I should be but um I, I see that face I think like it's a face only a mother could love but I kind of like love it I love it